Ten years ago, things were very different from today. We'd just come out of an economic crisis. The Committee on Climate Change was being thought about as part of uh, a major move on the Climate Change Act. But more importantly, businesses were starting to realise that they wanted to prove to their consumers and stakeholders that they were doing something practical on climate change. So we came up with the Carbon Trust Standard. It is the way of showing businesses that they are doing the right thing, they're doing it in steps, they're proving that their steps are the right steps, and on they go with continuous improvement. It's 10 years since then, and an enormous amount has happened. Well, the fact is that there are no targets except the summation of everybody's target. But they can't do so without the help of specialist organisations, like, for example, the Carbon Trust, that can ensure that what they do is effective, that they know what to do, that they can measure what they're doing, that they can seek to do something better, that they can find new ways of doing it. All those things are only possible if you have specialist people who can give the advice and the information. BT was awarded the Carbon Trust Standard back in 2008 and we've held it continuously ever since. BT's partnership with the Carbon Trust has been essential to our climate action journey. Um, you've been an advisor, you've encouraged us, you've helped us think, think through new ideas and things that we wanted to do and I don't think we would have been able to get to where we are without the support of the Carbon Trust. Siemens' history with the Carbon Trust Standard really goes back nearly 10 years and really led us into a different way of looking at carbon, a different way of looking at climate change really, which was, let's just try and understand what it means to us and what it means to each individual business in Siemens. You know, we're 14,000 people in the UK. We have something like 130 locations and each one of those needs to understand what their carbon commitment is. Selfridges achieved the triple standard in carbon waste and water back in 2014 and uh, we were the first department store to do that uh, so we were really proud of that as an achievement. We then re-accredited in 2016 and we got our third re-accreditation today uh, so we are really really pleased to have achieved this three times in a row. It does get harder as you go along so uh, yeah a lot of work, it's great. As a, a commercial laundry, water use is critical to our uh, process. You can't launder product without using water. So it's a significant cost to us and a significant utility that we use. The Carbon Trust Standard assisted us in that it focused, it allowed us and helped us to focus on having a water reduction target. To achieve the standard, you not only have to measure and manage, but you have to reduce as well. So it gave us a focus and a target to reduce our water usage. We've achieved the Carbon Trust standard for the first time last year. We've uh, been working with the Carbon Trust much longer time, since about 2011, and Carbon Trust have been our, our key partner on our, on our carbon journey. So the framework for the Carbon Trust Standard is quite simple. Uh, it's made the discussions with our supply chain equally simple. So naturally we started with some of the biggest suppliers that we work with, where we, we feel like the, the, the larger carbon impact can be made. One of the things we realised quite quickly is actually a lot of those organisations, because of their scale, are already doing quite important work there anyway. Some of these organisations are global. We're a UK-based business, so our, our actual carbon footprint is quite simple to deal with. So one of the things we're now exploring with that group of, um, what well, you might say, some of our global leaders in carbon reduction and CSR activity in general, is working collaboratively to say how can we uh, extend our reach together deeper into the supply chain, where some of the organisations that we work with don't really have that established framework in place and the Carbon Trust Framework has really helped us start that conversation at the top end but then take it forward to what the future could look like and how we can actually impact some of those smaller, I guess less established organisations um, for the better of everybody. Having the framework helps us break down into all of the, the different areas and really engage people who, if they're not in sustainability, might not understand the key issues they should be thinking about. Um, puts it into manageable chunks. Uh, the recommendations are really helpful. So the kind of further you get, 
uh, the more recommendations you get of what to do next to achieve that continuous improvement um, and that helps us kind of move forward. The Carbon Trust we really do trust and we know other people trust that label so which is why we know that it's something that we like to keep and like to have and we do use it a lot in terms of all of our reporting um, and a lot of our sort of messaging out there when we say we have our emissions, carbon emissions, our annual reports and our bigger performance report we do use the Carbon Trust label standards for it. And recently our Sky Italia, our regional ones have also gone through sort of the carbon certification and um, I think they're quite successful in that as well. We've uh, used the Carbon Trust standard to communicate in our uh, annual report, in our sustainability report, but also in the numerous dis disclosures that we need to do to the city, various financial disclosures. It adds points for, ver for things like CDP, uh, and so they've been the key areas where we've used the standard. We think that the Selfridges yellow bag is the most iconic piece of, of branding that we have. It's the one thing that all of our customers take home. So uh, Selfridges, as a, a brand-led department store, you can buy a thousand different brands, but you will always have the Selfridges bag with you at the end of the day. And we have the Carbon Trust triple standard logo on the bottom of every bag. Uh, we're that proud that we'll put it on our own, our own packaging that goes to everybody. In the 10 years since the Carbon Trust standard was launched, we're incredibly proud by the standard bearers and what they've done. That's absolutely extraordinary. Over 1,700 certifications, over a billion tonnes of CO2 that we have measured and verified, 5.7 billion litres of water, over 2 million tonnes of waste. These are enormous figures that have come out of the businesses that have decided to subscribe to the Carbon Trust Standard as their way of showing the steps that they're taking to improve and reduce their environmental impact and avoid greenwash in doing it. It's real improvement because of real progress.